Hello students, I am going to discuss the quick solutions of All India Akash Test Series Medical 2020 RM of test number 3 code ENF. Your test was held on 15th of December 2019 and I will be dealing with the botany section. So let's start with the botany questions. Question number 91. Colonchyma differs from parenchyma in. This colonchyma and parenchyma both are living, but what is the main difference that colonchyma is a mechanical tissue, it provides mechanical support and has thick walls, whereas parenchyma, it is the living tissue and has thin cell walls. So, colonchyma differs from parenchyma in having thick cell walls. It is true, colonchyma has thick cell walls. Having protoplasm, both are living, both have protoplasm. So, this is incorrect. Being living, both are living. Being non-mechanical tissue, no, it is mechanical tissue. It provides mechanical support to the plant organs. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 1. Let's move to the next question. Question number 92. The meristematic tissue which develops between the vascular bundles is called. See here, it is asking that the meristematic tissue which develops between the vascular bundles, if these are two vascular bundles, so the meristematic tissue develops between the vascular bundles and this meristematic tissue is called interfascicular cambium. As you can see in the dicot stem. So, intrafascicular is present within the vascular bundles. I can show you here. This is the intrafascicular cambium which is present within the vascular bundles. Cork cambium, no, cork cambium is present in the extrastellar region. Intracalorie meristem is the primary meristem. So, the correct option for the given question is the option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Question number 93 cells of dead mechanical tissue in plants. So, first of all, you have to identify which is the dead mechanical tissue in plants. It is the sclerenchyma. So, this sclerenchyma forms the major component of plant organs. No, it is the parenchyma which forms the major component of the plant organs. So, this option is ruled out. Do not lose protoplasm at maturity. No, sclerenchyma is dead and loses its protoplasm at maturity. So, this is also incorrect. They have thin cell walls. No, because they are dead, they provide mechanical support. They have very thick cell walls. Fourth option, they have lignified thick walls. Of course, they have lignified thick walls. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 4. Let's see the next question. Question number 94, the ground tissue of leaves is called, ground tissue of leaves is called mesophyll tissue. So, this is the correct answer without any doubt. What about the first option which is oh, conjective tissue? Conjective tissue is present between the xylem and phloem in the roots. So, this is ruled out. Steeler tissue, no, steeler tissue is the tissue which is formed by pericycle, vascular bundles and the pith. What about the fourth option which is conducting tissue? So, conducting tissue is the vascular tissue. So, this option is also ruled out. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's pick up the next question. Question number 95. Bulliform cells are? So, what are bulliform cells? Bulliform cells are seen in monocots, especially in grasses. They help to minimize the water loss in case of water stressed conditions. They are green colored photosynthetic cells. No, they are large, empty and the colorless cells. So, they are modified adaxial epidermal cells. Yes, they are modified upper epidermal cells. It is correct. They are helpful to maximize the water loss. No, they are helpful in minimizing the water loss. They are small endodermal cells. No, they are large epidermal cells. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. 